dear students welcome back to my class after a very long break uh, today we are going to look into the plot summary of the novel uh, ed bluman so as we have discussed earlier uh, we have discussed the life and works of margaret atwood who is a canadian novelist woman novelist and we are going to today we are going to uh, discuss the plot summary of the novel edible woman so the plot summary is the summary of the story uh, in the coming classes we will discuss the summary of the chapters but today in today's class we will discuss the summary whole summary of the novel the edible woman so the novel edible woman when uh, uh, it was in a manuscript manuscript na kai pradiya manuscript it was given to a publisher but the publisher uh, did not publish it and it was there was no response from the publisher to margaret atwood so after some 4 years uh, Uh, when uh, adwood became famous as a poet the publisher called margaret adwood for a dinner and margaret adwood asked the publisher if she if he had read the manuscript edible woman and the publisher honestly replied that he had not and later it was published so rest is the history So this is a small introduction to this Margaret Atwood's uh, novel The Edible Woman. So it was not actually uh, it took 4 uh, years after the completion of the manuscript. Now Now the plot summary. So the novel uh, revolves around one character, Marian Mac alpin so he is a heroine there is no hero here so it is only heroine the focus uh, is on the heroine mariam mac alpin so mariam uh, mariam mac alpin uh, works in a market research company so this market research company what uh, what is the, the job of mac alpin is uh, she has to do a survey of the products that the marketing company the company is given the marketing research company does research of new product and mac alfin is in charge of uh, taking the survey uh, of the new products and she uh, lives in an apartment in a in a toronto and the apartment is shared by ainsley his friend or his roommate so the two characters now mariam mac alfin who is working in a market research company and the company uh, is taking a survey on the new product launched new product launched launched and mac alfin He lives in an apartment in Toronto, and she is sharing her room with Ainsley. And Mac Alfin is in love with a Peter, who is a lawyer. But with the problem with Mac Alfin is, she finds his lover, that is Peter, very boring and very normal. She wants something more romantic. in his love in her love but peter is more uh, customs he is like a very custom man uh, custom is a very uh, regular ana or man a irukan but mac alfin wants uh, peter to be more romantic so she finds uh, peter very boring and his she also has in touch with uh, um, his college friend named clara 
who is settled as a housewife so now when the novel opens we are introduced to three characters mac alvin the heroine uh, his roommate ainsley and her college mate clara now uh, among these three characters these three characters are from different plane no no different characters see mac alvin loves peter who wants a romantic love from peter and clara her college friend has settled as a housewife and now he is pregnant and there is ainsley which we are going to talk about in the next slide ainsley is a roommate of mac alvin who wants uh, who wishes to be who wants to break the rules of the society ainsley is the class a roommate of uh, mac alvin eva ipuna she wants to break the rules are the rules laid by the society so what is the rules so actually uh, any society um wishes marriage for a woman or a man but ainsley uh, wishes to have a baby without marriage so ainsley is a different character so avu vandu or different character avu enna nenikira கல்யாணம் ஆகாமல் குழந்தை பெற்றுக்கணும் நினைக்கிறேன் ஸோ அவன் சமுதாயத்தில் இருக்கிற அந்த கட்டுப்பாடை மீறணும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஸோ ஐன்ஸ்டி இஸ் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் சி த்ரீ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கேரக்டர் மூணு டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கதாபாத்திரங்கள் மேக் ஆல்பின் இஸ் அ உமன் ஆர் அ கேர்ள் நார்மல் கேர்ள் ஹூ வான்ஸ் அ ரொமான்டிக் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் வித் பீட்டா கிளாரா அவருடைய காலேஜ் மேட் நார்மலான ஒரு ஒரு ஃபேமிலி ஹஸ்பண்ட் செட்டில் ஆகியாச்சு அண்ட் ஐன்ஸ்லி இஸ் அ அனதர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கேரக்டர் ஹூ வான்ஸ் டு பிரேக் த ரூல்ஸ் ஆஃப் த சொசைட்டி அண்ட் ஹி வாண்ட் ஷீ வாண்ட்ஸ் டு ஹாவ் த பேபி வித்வுட் மேரேஜ் அண்ட் ஷீ ஆல்சோ சேஸ் ஹர் இன்டென்ஷன் டு மரியம் மேக் ஆல்பின் மரியம் மரியம் ஆர் மேக் ஆல்பின் இஸ் ஹாரிஃபைட் வென் ஷீ ஹியர்ஸ் this from ainsley and she replies ainsley replies i just quote the thing that ruins families these days is the husbands so she she wants a baby but not husbands husband she she does not want her to be dominated by a man so she uh, hates uh, to have a baby and a husband she only decides to have a baby so she decides to have a baby from a man who has no interest in fatherhood so so she searches for a womanizer so our our kulandai pettukiradukaga or womanizer a therra so and she decides to have a sexual relationship with a womanizer friend named len so she also finds a man in her office named len len what is len who is len len is um, a friend of ainsley and sorry friend of um, mac alvin who works in M- mac alvin's office so ainsley chooses len to have sexual relationship so that she will be having a baby through len and not marry him and len is known for having more relationship with young girls so and she chooses len for sexual relationship to have a baby so now we have three characters maria mac alfin who wants to have a, a romantic relationship with peter we have ainsley who wants to break the rules of the society by having a baby with the len but not marrying len and we have clara who is entirely mar- who is different who has married and is pregnant and of these three characters so 
at the office marian what is the work of marian is uh, he is assigned the assigned the task of gathering responses for a survey about a new brand beer now when the story opens uh, mac alvin is given the task of a uh, gathering uh, questioning survey gathering survey for a new brand beer for in church of work when she uh, she meets uh, uh, a college english literature student named duncan and naturally mac alvin finds duncan more romantic than peter and she gets attracted to towards him and thus comes a problem so one day um <clears throat> when peter len ainsley go for a dinner so peter calls for a dinner mac alvin peter len and ainsley they have would they go for a dinner so in the dinner ainsley dresses like a school girl so that len gets attracted but so before the dinner so in the dinner in the halfway to the dinner dinner ude paadila in the halfway to the dinner mariam goes away um so that ainsley and len remain alone so that uh, ainsley could move with have sexual relationship with len so len ya ainsley in vittu mariam pora peterum irka so mariam enna nenikira she thinks that so ainsley and len may have sexual because ainsley wants to have sexual relationship with len so now one and only thaniya uta work ke peter to sollama poi irra so mariam goes away giving space for ainsley to move with len peter ke puriyal peter is not aware of ainsley's plan so she finds fault with um, mac alvin mac alvin what he is how he behave and really she wonders hence he chases mariam in his car he follows mariam he also blamed mariam or mac alvin for behaving in a bad way at the dinner and after blaming mac alvin or mariam for behaving for a bad character in the dinner he proposes to mac alvin in the end of the night peter proposes to her for marriage immediately what happens is peter uh, chooses a date for her wedding and this mariam did not act, act, uh, expect see mariam did not expect she wants some romantic relationship with uh, peter but all of a sudden uh, peter uh, goes for marriage this is this is not like with mariam so she slips away she moves away without giving any word to peter about the marriage okay now see you can see Uh, the story moves moves slowly so there is another character in, introduced introduced are involved with these three characters so the three characters there is mac alpin who is a survey who is taking who is taking survey uh, in a company and her uh, roommate ainsley and her classmate uh, clara and lover peter so mariam loves peter Ainsley loves the Len and Mac Clara is already in a family way and Mac Alvin wants to have a romantic relationship with Peter but Peter wants to get married not to have any romantic relationship she loves but she wants to he wants to marry uh, go for marriage immediately and there is another character uh, Ainsley who wants to have sexual relationship without marriage and there is another comes on a character duncan whom mac alvin meets on her way to survey and he is a english literature student who is a college student and mac alvin is more attracted towards duncan naturally 
and Miriam is not attracted towards Peter. In this mean period, Miriam is proposed by Peter for marriage, but Miriam is naturally attracted towards Duncan, a college student. Okay, Miriam and Duncan have a surprise meeting in Laundromat. What is Laundromat? The place where you pay to use machines that wash and dry clothes. Okay. Now one day, in the usual uh, conversation between uh, with the Duncan, Miriam with the Duncan, they go to a laundromat, laundromat or laundry, laundromat, where uh, unable to control um, her urge, Miriam or Mac Alpin kisses Duncan. And after this incident, Miriam finds that he she is not able to uh, eat meat, anything with bone. So psychologically, she gets affected. So what is the psychological problem, Miriam is? Now, uh, she loves uh, Duncan, but she is proposed. She wishes to marry uh, Peter. This is the problem of Miriam. So Miriam for the world, Duncan love Pandra, and she does not like Duncan uh, to marry, but she wishes to marry Peter, but likes to ha uh, have relationship with Duncan. So this is the problem of uh, this Mac Alfin. Now what happens? So what after the, uh, so after the incident at Laundromat? Miriam finds difficult to eat meat and in the other section of the novel you can see Ainsley seduces Len, seduces Len. So they have sexual relationship and as a result Ainsley becomes pregnant. One day Len confesses his sexual relationship with Ainsley to Miriam. But now Marian or Mac Alpin says to Len that it was only Ainsley's plans plan to have baby through Len. Now Len reveals his childhood fear for X. So he says that he was afraid of taking leg, eggs, eating eggs, even from a childhood. This he then reveals to Ainsley. And from this incident, Miriam too finds difficult to eat egg in the morning. So slowly, Miriam loses her character. See, Miriam loses her character. See, at the first incident, she loses um, she finds it very difficult to eat meat. Now, after Len confesses his sexual relationship with um, Ainsley, she loses um, her another self of eating eggs. So, and slowly she loses, she is unable to eat vegetables and other cakes, even ve no, vegetarians, vegetables and cake. Now, this is the problem of, of Maria McAlphin. So, McAlphin slowly loses herself um, as she is torn between two uh, people, Duncan and Peter. So she wishes to have Peter as a husband, a well-settled lawyer, but she wishes, she also wants to have a relationship, romantic relationship with Duncan. That's the problem of uh, Mac Alpin. One day, Peter, um, calls for a marriage party. He calls Marian or Mac Alfin. Marian Mac, Mac Alfin. He invites Mac Alfin's or Marian's office girls, Virgin's office girls from her work. So Duncan, Duncan's roommate, and all are invited for the party. And Duncan suggests um, 
Uh, sorry. Um, Miriam also invites Duncan to the party. See, uh, what happens is uh, Peter invites Miriam and her um, Marian and her uh, uh, workmates or office mates. Miriam, uh, Peter invites Miriam and her roommates, but Miriam invites Duncan for the party of Peter. Peter asks Miriam to buy a new dress, a red dress for a party. So when uh, she wears or buys the red dress, she find he uh, feels that she is she has completely lost her identity or self to Peter as she is starting uh, to become uh, she started to obey the orders of Peter. So is that. அலர்ஜி <laughs> Uh, has an allergy for other food also now dress even dress coming to the dress she started uh, liking the dress like by peter so now maryam is uh, confused as she has lost her own identity now before the party anshli does maryam's makeup including Paul's eyelashes and a big lipstick smile and Duncan arrives he says you didn't tell me it was masqueraded what is masqueraded is a verb as a noun or a verb as a noun it shows a false show uyana thagaval written verb arna someone who is not so tappa uyya nadikiradu verb arna noun arna oru uyana thagaval so masqueraded en solran enna paapu who the hell are you supposed to be he quotes i am quoting the word who the hell you are you supposed to be he lives and mariam follows they go to the hotel at the hotel they have sex the next morning they go out to breakfast and mariam finds that she cannot eat anything okay now what happens is uh, now see uh, peter has called for a party on the party ke ellane kootruka peter on the marriage party ke and uh, uh, mariam has called duncan for the party now when uh, anshley and mariam are getting ready for the party duncan arrives and says uh, blames uh, mariam for uh, showing uh, for their relation false relationship so uh mariam has not said anything about peter to duncan duncan ta peter pathi solla adukku vaira okay duncan accuses mariam for a false show and he goes away when duncan goes away mariam follows duncan and they meet in a room in a hotel room and in the hotel room they have sex and in the next morning Mariam finds that she is not even able to have her breakfast it is a guilt so or kutra unarvu so the kutra unarvula avaru ella konjam konjama saapra mudiyama poiru so she finds that she is not even able to, able to take her breakfast now mariam realizes that peter is metaphorically devouring her what is the meaning is so slowa now mariam thinks that the her problem is that she should totally come out of peter peter have to veliya varanum adha avrude problem so um and she also thinks that peter is totally ruling her peter da peter nenikira mariye ivula ivula vandu 
கொண்டு வந்துக்கிட்டு இருக்கோம் அப்படின்ற உணர்வு யாருக்கு இருக்கு மெரியம் இருக்கு ஸோ இதை இதை டெஸ்ட் பண்ணுறதுக்காக என்ன பண்ணுறா டு டெஸ்ட் இட் டு டெஸ்ட் இன் சி பேக்ஸ் எ பிங்க் கேக் இன் அ ஷேப் ஆஃப் உமன் அண்ட் ஆஸ் பீட்டர் டு ஈட் இட் So, see, see, uh, I quote, this is what you really want. This is what Peter is saying. She says and offers the cake. Peter leaves disturbed. He doesn't know what happened. What happened? He doesn't know what happened. He doesn't know what happened. So, Peter leaves. But Miriam feels hungry and realizes it is just a cake and she starts eating it. Simply saying it is only cake. He doesn't know what happened. And there is balanced cake. she takes the cake the woman cake to duncan to his to her to duncan and offers the cake, remaining cake to duncan and duncan simply tastes that cake and she he simply says thank you for the cake and it, he says it is delicious so adoda the novel mudiyud so enna na see this is a very different story இதில் எழுபிள் உமன் கதை எப்படி முடியுதுன்னா மெரி மேக் ஆல்பின் திங்ஸ் தட் அட் லீஸ்ட் டங்கன் வில் பி வெரி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மேன் பட் கடைசியில் எப்படி க்ளோஸ் ஆகுதுண்ணா நாவல் எல்லா ஆண்களும் பெண்களை ஒரு சாப்பாட்டு பொருளாக தான் நினைக்கிறாங்க இன்க்ளூடிங் டங்கன் ஆனால் ஷீ ஃபைன்ஸ் அவளுக்கு அவ்வளோ பொறுத்தவரை டங்கனுடைய ரொமான்டிக் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் வந்து நல்லா இருக்கும்னு நினைக்கிறா பட் டங்கனுமே ஹீ ஓன்லி ட்ரீஸ் உமன் அஸ் அடிபிள் உமன் எடிபிள் உமன் அஸ் அடிபிள் ஒரு சாப்பாடு பொருள் அவளுக்கு அவனுக்கு பசி எடுக்கும் போது சாப்பிட்ற ஒரு பொருளாக தான் எல்லா ஆண்களும் பெண்களை நினைக்கிறாங்க அப்படின்றத இந்த கதை மூலமாக சொல்ல விரும்பியிருக்காங்க ஓகே மார்கரட் அட்வர்ஸ் ட்ரை டு சே தட் ஆல் மென் யூஸ் உமன் ஓன்லி ஃபார் தேர் ஹங்க்ரி ஸோ தட்ஸ் த எடிபிள் உமன் simple plot or novel plot of the story uh, we will discuss the novel the, the story of the uh, the plot the story of the novel in a detail in the coming classes so dear student so in the story vandu uh, you may bit get confused after hearing this the plot structure of the story but a very simple plot it has it does not have any um uh thing but it has a symbolic meaning or symbolic meaning and the cake cake kondu poi peter ta kudukirathu peter adha enna nu puriyama veliye porudhu adukadhu duncan ta na cake kondu porudhu duncan saapradhu it all they are all symbolic okay all these symbolic meanings enna endradha nama coming classes la paapom so idu vandu kadha just a story so story is the story moves around these three characters um maria mac alfin maria mac alfin and ainsley len see maria mac alfin peter ainsley len and duncan the four characters uthi na kadha nadakku so women la three different type characters mac alfin or character ainsley and clara three different level la irukanga and aan aangalla rendu per aangalla moonu per that is uh, peter who is very strict who is a more orthodox want to get married have children avan the kolandai pathukkanum manavi veetla irukanum apdi nenikira oru character peter and there is another character len who wants to have a relationship with all girls paramura illama ella pengalodi muru vachukku nenikira oru aan len and there is another man duncan who is a flirt flirt na um vaippu kadaikkum bodu pengalodi uru kollugira oru college boy so three different characters and three different aangal three different pengal so this are three different women three different men and the story is fixed with these three characters six characters 
and don't uh, you, uh, dear students don't get worried about the plot structure we will discuss the story in detail so far today i have just given the rough outline story of the novel the edible woman thank you dear students we will meet you in the next class